One of the most frequently asked questions leaders ask high fluence is the following. They come to us and they say, okay, guys, we believe in unbossing. We are experiencing the pains that you describe in our organization as we speak. We want to solve them and we believe that transitioning into an unbossed organization might be the solution for us. But now it comes, where do we start unbossing in the organization? And actually the answer is fairly simple. You start almost simultaneously at the same time, two levels in the organization, the top management and the front line. It's up to the leader first and foremost, so the top of the organization, to self-reflect, introspect and crystallize what unbossing means to him or her. How far do you want to go in autonomy? What does trust mean for you in your organization? What kind of things do you never want to experience again? What kind of decisions do you want to still want to make? And what kinds of decisions do you want to delegate to the outside of the organization? So really crystallize a first desired future state, a first framework, and then having a dialogue with your management team and refining and creating support for that desired future state. Because the leader needs to be the one driving the change and at the least the management team should be supportive. If not, it doesn't make any sense to proceed. Now, from the moment that you have that framework, it's the job of the top management to create a dialogue in the organization about what does it mean for you guys? If this is where we are heading, what would this mean for you? And you start inviting them to participate in the dialogue. And there comes the second level, because following the dialogue, you will start experimenting. And where do you start the experiments? Well, there where giving autonomy can create the highest value for the organization. Or in other words, there where bureaucracy today has the most negative impact on the organization. And that's typically in the front line. Once they've had the dialogue um, and they understand the desired future state of the top leader, they can start experimenting in practice. What does this mean in our day-to-day -day job? And you can start different experiments in all the organization. This is not a big change project. There is not a huge master plan. Just have the dialogue on the framework and start experimenting and learn from it, innovation-wise, lean startup-wise. Now, while I'm explaining this, I hear a lot of people thinking, okay, Nick, but if you start unbossing both at the top and in the front line, what about the middle management? And the answer is actually fairly simple. The middle management will sort itself out. You will have a lot of middle managers really energized by this journey because their, their work is going to completely change. They will move from a bureaucratic middle management function to a more mentoring, coaching, supporting management role, close to the teams who are in contact with the customer, creating value for the customer and the organization. So their, their life is going to change. They will, be more, they will be more energized, more productive, more happy, etc. But obviously you will have also some middle managers who will continue to resist the journey. And some of them might even leave the company. And that's okay. The journey is not for everyone. And in any case, you will attract new people who are attracted by the unbossing philosophy and who will jump right into those mentoring, coaching and supporting management roles. That's basically it. That's where to start. And if you need any help in starting up the unbossing journey in your organization, there's actually only one address. It's www.hyflens.eu.